Hello, I'm Terry McCann with the third in my five-part series titled An Introduction to Lean Concepts. After proposing a working definition of lean in part two, we now look at the question, what is waste? As in the last video, I suggest you pause this presentation and quickly jot down very briefly your own answer to the question, what is waste? That will help you evaluate the rest of this presentation as it agrees with or varies from your own existing understanding. So press pause and answer the question, what is waste? Do that now. In a lean organization, the people are encouraged and expected not just to perform their daily job functions, but to become engaged in lean and contribute with creative and useful suggestions for the elimination of waste and the improvement of the value stream. We will hear more about the value stream later. Waste is any activity that uses resources but does not add value for the customer. In other words, the customer would not be willing to pay for that activity. Since the lean discipline evolved in Japan, it is not surprising that lean is full of Japanese terms, much like judo and the martial arts. The Japanese term for this type of waste is muda. There are two other Japanese terms related to waste which we will look at next. Mura and Muri. TPS categorizes Muda into seven forms of waste. Transport, any conveyance or movement of product or materials that does not directly add value. For example, transport from goods receiving to a storeroom and then transporting them to the production line. Waiting, any time a worker is idle because of having to wait for some event is a waste of resource. An example would be workers waiting during retooling. Overproduction. Excess product consumes resources such as storage facilities. Defect. Having to scrap, repair, regrade or correct consumes resources that were wasted when it was not done right the first time. Inventory. When inventory is sitting in the value stream, it is consuming resources and finances, adding risk without adding value. Motion. Unlike transport, this refers to human movement such as walking, bending, twisting or reaching and includes making adjustments or realignment of equipment and tools. Extra processing. Over processing that does not in itself add value through transformation such as adding protective packaging, cleaning molds and castings. By now, your alarm bells are probably ringing and you will no doubt be asking, how can protective packaging, for instance, be a waste? The customer would be very upset if the goods arrived in a damaged state. For this reason, there are two classes of MUDA. Type 1 MUDA classifies activities that do not add value through a process of transformation, but are considered as necessary nevertheless. This type of waste cannot be eliminated, at least not immediately. I have mentioned, for instance, protective packaging. Type 2 MUDA is that class of activities that do not add value and are not really necessary. These are your first prospects to consider for elimination. An example here would be redundant paperwork and fruitless meetings. MUDA is often caused by MURA and MURI. Mura can be translated as unevenness and refers to the ebb and flood of an uneven tide in the flow of production. It has various causes, often working in combination. A customer may spring an unexpectedly big order for which we do not have the raw materials, or we do not have the capacity right now because we are busy working on another line of production that is planned to continue for the next few days. A sale comes through that we did not expect to get, or we lose a sale that we thought was a slam dunk. A supplier is waiting on another supplier in the chain. Perhaps we have issues with absenteeism in the workforce. Mura is often associated with a measure of unpredictability, but sometimes it can be cyclic, where things are slow at the beginning of each month, but the pressure builds up towards month end, and especially at the end of the financial quarter, when people are worried about hitting targets. Whether cyclical or unpredictable, 
The result is an uneven flow of production with periods of high pressure to produce and other much slower periods or even idle periods. Muri is stress on the system, equipment and people due to an overburdening. Muri accompanies Mura during the flood production periods when demand exceeds normal capacity and the organization strives to meet that demand. Muri often results in various forms of type 2 muda due to fatigue, system breakdowns or outages, poor decision making, sick leave and even staff turnover. The lean principle of respect for people means that muri is frowned upon not just because it produces unnecessary muda, but even more so because of the burden it places on the workforce. All right, to recap, lean is a methodology for making improvements in the production of value as defined by the customer by motivating and engaging the workforce to eliminate waste. We've broken waste down into Mura, Muri, and Muda. But just how do we actually eliminate this Mura, Muri, and Muda? The tools needed for eliminating Mura, Muri, and Muda are... Ta-da! Hijunker and the value stream map. The concept of hijunker is the next major element that we need to look at in the lean methodology. Take another break and then move on to view the next presentation in the introduction to lean concepts series entitled, What is Hijunker? I'm Terry McCann. If you have questions or comments regarding this presentation, send an email to terry.mccann at tcmc-qms.ca terry.mccann at tcmc-qms.ca